Hey guys, this is a mid-month reading for the 15th through the 31st to see where you guys are at going into the new year. And um, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Of course, this is a general reading, you guys, so it won't resonate for everyone. If you guys need a personal reading, visit the website. If for some reason you have an issue there, then um, of course you can email me and we'll, we'll get that all straightened out for you. All right. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I pray that all is well, okay, for all of you. All right, guys. Here we go. One more shuffle. Gemini. What's going on for my Geminis? Love is in the air. I can't see. Um, there is mutual love between you and somebody else. Both of you feel it. Both of you know it. Both of you acknowledge it. The, the only problem is... I don't feel like you have acknowledged it to each other. Okay? Here you are, Ten of Pentacles. Your challenge is a Seven of Wands. Your past position is a Four of Pentacles. Your foundation is a King of Swords. Ooh, what's crowning you is the Tower. The Devil, I'm sorry. Um... In the near future, we have the Ace of Swords. How you feel about yourself is the Knight of Wands. What's in the environment is Three of Swords. Your hopes and fears is a Five of Pentacles. And your potential outcome is the Two of Wands. Okay. Now, right now, I feel like you guys are at a point where... You realize that you want um, a relationship. You want a relationship. You want to be able to share your life with somebody. You want to establish a legacy. You want something solid that will last until the end of time or till one of you leaves this earth, I feel. Okay. Th this is where you are. Okay. But in the past, I feel like you were holding yourself back. Um, you were shielding your heart. You were closed off to somebody in particular. Okay. And I say in particular because here we go to the near future over here. And you have this aha moment. You have this aha moment. You realize something here. All right, and we'll get back to that. Your foundation, we have the King of Swords. I feel like because the devil is crowning you up there, I feel like at this point, you feel as though you've been too harsh. You've been too harsh where the other person is concerned. And this energy can go vice versa. This could be somebody doing this to you, okay? So take it how it resonates for you and apply it where it needs to be. Somebody feels like they overreacted. They were too harsh in this situation. They were too hard in this situation. They let their, they let their ego get to them. Is how I feel. Because your challenge is not to be so defensive. To be able to listen to someone else's point of view. To listen to how someone else feels. To take, take into consideration how someone else feels. To let your guard down a little bit. You don't have to always be the king of swords. I feel like that's what your challenge is. In the near future, you realize that. You realize that 
you know the truth about something, you know the truth about yourself. You also know that you have very strong feelings for someone and you don't want to be by yourself forever. This is what I'm getting here. How you see yourself is that you know you weren't all in when you were physically connected with a person. Again, this can go vice versa. This can be the other person. Okay. You know that you weren't all in or they know that they weren't all in. That they didn't give everything that they could have give, given to the connection. And looking back at it, looking back at it and, you know, just realizing and acknowledging that. In the environment, we have the Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. Either you or the other person, or both of you, is heartbroken over the separation. Okay. But the Three of Swords to the Ace of Swords is the Four of Swords meditation healing. So I feel like this is more so the person that was not all in realizing that this is the person for them. This is a person that they want. This is a person that they want to have this Ten of Pentacles with and realizing that it may be too late. Not only that this person is who they want to be with, but also realizing that it could possibly be too late. Okay. Your hopes and fears, five of pentacles. This of course is not a hope. So this would be a fear. So I, I feel, feel like this is feeling like there is no hope. Feeling like this person is going to reject you or you them. Feeling like it can't be made right. With that five of pentacles. But I'm going to tell you though that and I don't say this a whole lot but I know it can be made right because we have five to the ten of pentacles it can be made right it just depends on how hard you or the other person is willing to try to put this thing together to try to make it right okay double the effort here five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles double the effort depends on how bad you want it all right possible outcome choosing a path how bad do you want it do you want to go this way or do you want to give up or do you want something else? Feeling like all hope is lost with the Five of Pentacles, either choosing to be all in and give it your all, or choosing something completely different, a completely different path. Okay? So, <clears throat> Gemini's, that is what I have for you for December 15th through the 31st. Let me say this too. That the other person, I feel like this has a lot to do with the other person's choice as well. Um, there may be somebody else that is in their life, but if you choose to you know, shoot your shot, go all in, give it your all, it's going to leave them with a decision to make. And I would much rather, you know, put my, you know, put my junk out there, you know, give it my best shot 
instead of not doing anything at all and never knowing if you guys could be together or not. Okay? All right, gems. So I'm going to wish you guys a Merry Christmas again. Happy New Year, guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon.